continuing on from episode three, where we enchanted alchemy gear. I've made my way from Dragon's Reach down to the Breeze Home in uh, White Run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store all apparel that doesn't have anything to do with alchemy. And the reason for this is because you'll be uh, equipping and unequipping it several times throughout this process. So you don't want to spend all this time digging through, trying to figure out what you need, what you don't, and all, all, all that. So what we've done is continued back up towards Dragon's Reach uh, to this alchemy table because um, you can just buy the ingredients as you run out I from this annoying chick. Oils, and I'll be happy um, to so what we'll do is I'm going to make nothing but restoration potions. And what we'll do is we'll drink, we'll make it, drink it, unequip all your gear. Once you've unequipped everything, re-equip it all and make another uh, restoration potion. You'll con keep continuing to uh, repeat this process until you've gotten it uh, um, high enough that all your <coughs> uh, potions after after this I offer remedies are like elements. super high in value. The value of these potions are where how f that varies how fast you level your uh, alchemy. It doesn't matter what potion it is, all that matters is what the value of that potion is. I hit a certain point in this video and in, during this process every uh, potion is like 10,000 which levels you super fast. In the, in the description I'll have a link to um, SkyrimPotions.com. What this does is a tool that shows you what each each potion does, or what the, what each ingredient uh, makes a certain potion. It shows you what um, what each potion is. I mean, it's a very detailed website. It's very good. You need to check that out. Um, in alchemy, you want to use nothing but benefactor uh, up to benefactor. So you just pick the first three perks. Max out the five out of five and the alchemist, and that's all you need for that. So every time you <clears throat> level during this process and you make it to a, a, a part where you can pick another perk, you need to stop and do that because that enhances it even more. So as you see, I, I'm, I'll continue to keep making restoration potions until I've made it to a. Uh, certain part because the last thing you want to do is make them too high because you'll hit negative numbers. The last thing you want to do is hit negative numbers because then you've wasted all this time and you have to start completely over basically. So anywhere in the mid thousands up to like 5,000, 6,000, something like that, that's kind of where you want to stop off. But you want to keep repeating this process uh, until you make it to that, that part. Because you've got four pieces, and each piece is 192% right now, so you times that by four, and that's going to um, uh, be your end result as you make the, the next re restoration potion. Because now we're up in the 2000s. I think this is like four or five potions in, and we're already at 2000. But like I say, you just keep repeating the process. Here I've made it so far up that I can just start using all my other random ingredients and I'll keep using them until I'm level to 101. It's a pretty simple process. It's not it's not too difficult. You just make the restoration potion, drink it, unequip, re-equip all your gear, and you just keep repeating all the way till you hit 101. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make uh, restoration potions for the next video. So this part just leading you into the next one where we actually finish off uh, our character and the point of making this whole series. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. If you missed any of the previous videos, make sure you click the links and check those out. And thanks for watching.